Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Jasmine. How are you guys? So, like two weeks ago, I started YouTubing again, making new videos, giving you some tips and stuff, because I got the time. <laughs> so, um, I started off with, you know, what to do at a casting, things to note, and I really hope that video was helpful. And then last week, I did a, a video on things to note before a fashion show. So today, you know what I'm saying, you in the show. Today's the day of the show, and you ready. You, 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 you did the casting all well. You did, you know, you prepared for the fashion show. Today's the day of the show. And now you're getting ready to walk down that runway. And you finna work it, okay? But I just want to give you a few things that you may want to note while you're walking the runway. So, I guess let's get right into it. My first tip would be to make sure that you are standing tall, shoulders back okay and you work it okay make sure that you're standing tall and you're keeping your head up that shows that you have the confidence and you already gonna have that confidence because I you know what I'm saying you already gonna have that confidence because you could do it okay but make sure that you are standing tall and your head is up do not look down do not look to the side I mean you could look to the side to engage in the audience some some people want you to do that, some people don't want you to do that, sometimes they just want you to straight forward, straight face. But, if it's one of those fashion shows that they want you to interact with the audience, do it. You know, a little sign. You know, as you walk it down. But make sure your shoulders are back and your head is up. The thing with your shoulders being back is, especially for plus size models, um, when your shoulders are back, your arms won't move as much. Because when you're just walking, you know, your, your arms are like, mm -mm, mm. So when your shoulders are back, your arms are moving, but they won't be as much, and they won't be so swingy-like when you're walking down the... So, to control that, if you have that kind of walk where your arms are, like, really, woo, in the wind, <laughs> put your shoulders back, and it will kind of control that swing, and it won't look too bad. Um, and then keep your head up, like I said. That is really, really important. I mean, you occasionally will look down just to make sure, but try not to. Um... Also, try to practice on the runway if you can real quick. You know, why everybody doing their makeup? You, <laughs> if you can. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. You just know that you're going to own it regardless of how the runway looks or how it is. You are going to work it anyway. Okay? So, be confident. Head up. Shoulders back. When you're walking down the runway, make sure, you know, there's going to be music playing. So, make sure that you're walking at your own pace and not to the beat of the music. Sometimes it's hard and you kind of want to, like, walk to the beat of the music and do, 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 do. I don't know. That's too fast. But, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, and you want to walk to the beat of the, the, of the song. Don't do that. You have your own walk. You have your own pace. You make sure that you walk that. Yes, you know, kind of hear the music. Like, don't, like, run down the runway and it's like a slow song you know what i mean like if it's a slow song make sure that you are walking in a decent pace but not to the beat you know what i'm saying so if it's a fast song again make sure you're walking at a a good pace and you're bringing the fierceness but don't don't you know run <laughs> like don't walk to the beat either it's just you have your own walk walk your walk and walk your own pace they're not looking for you to dance with the music. They're looking for you, they're, and it's not for, you know, for you to match the music. It's for you to model the clothes. That's your job. And that actually leads me into my next tip. Make sure that you are modeling what you are wearing. Say you have a hat and they want you to wear a hat. Model that hat. When you get down to the end, one of them poses, make sure you're holding that hat or holding the glasses or whatever, whatever it is. If it's a nice long garment and they have like a little, you know, whatever, just make sure you model that when you get down to the end. And when I say the poses, use that with the poses, even when you're walking down. So say you have a long dress. And one of the fashion shows that I did, I had this long purple dress. And it had like a long sleeve kind of thing. And I was just working it the whole way down. <laughs> and everyone loved it. And um, the designer loved the way I, I, I modeled his dress down the runway. And so, like I said, just make sure that you are modeling the clothes. Um, showing that off. And also showing you, because you are your brand still at the end of the day. But make sure you're doing your job because you are a model. And modeling is to model their clothes. <laughs> especially on a fashion show. So make sure that you're doing that. So my next step would be make sure that you are doing three second poses at the end. Um, when you are walking down, you know, you say you did your walk, you're not walking to the beat, you're doing it at your own pace, you get down to the to the end, and they're going to be snapping pictures. You don't want to be moving, you know, because you just click, 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 po, po, po. You can't do that. Make sure that you are posing, and when you pose, to so say you pose, hold that for three seconds. 
three seconds in your head one two three or one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi honestly when you're on the sh when you're in the show there's gonna be so much you're gonna be so focused you're not gonna think to count just know in your mind okay let me hold this pose for a little bit you know what i'm saying and then when you go into the next pose let me hold this pose for a little bit <laughs> Hold your poses for three seconds. Like I said, they're taking pictures. And those pictures, you're going to want to use them to promote yourself. And, you know, put them on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. So, you know, you don't want to be moving in the picture, right? No. No, no, no. You don't want to move the picture. So, make sure that you're holding your poses. Um, it's really, really key. Especially because also the designers want to use those pictures. You know, oh, in my fashion show, you so-and-so model. And you're posing in amazingly posing, okay? And the picture is perfect. So again, make sure that you're doing three second poses. Um, it also, I also want you to know that this also varies when it becomes when it comes to um, how many models are in the show. If it's a big fashion show, if it's a small fashion show, and again, depending on what they want, you know, what 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 they want from you. So, you know, usually if it's a small fashion show. You can hold those poses and you could do, or you can do three second poses, but do like five poses. You know, usually it's three, three poses, three seconds, you know, or two. If it's a lot of models, maybe it's just one pose, but make sure you holding that, okay? <laughs> hold that pose. But like I said, you know, it all varies. You will be able to know what is what when you assess how many people are there, when you're going and, and things like that. And you get always ask questions. Do not be scared to ask questions, okay? But yes, please make sure you're holding your poses so you can get that amazing picture when you was on that runway, okay? So this tip is really, really important as well. If you mess up, do not worry. If you fall, if you trip, if you stumble, it's okay. It happens. Sometimes you are wearing uncomfortable shoes that they want you to model. And yes, it's funny and it's embarrassing. But at the end of the day, as long as you pop right back up and work it like you ain't never working before, everybody gonna forget. Or they gonna be like, you know what? I got mad respect because she got up and she did what she was supposed to do. That's your job. I actually, on my first fashion show, the first time I was walking out, I, like, my ankle did one of these. Click, click. <laughs> And you seen it like I was like oh and I just like you know what any way and I kept it pushing and I got respect for it you know and actually another woman she did fall on the show she popped right back up I ain't never seen somebody pop up so quick in my life so shout out to you girl you know who you are she popped right back up real quick and kept it pushing and she did her three second pose and everything that's what you're supposed to do things happen it's not a perfect world this is not a perfect life and just make sure that you know you get back up and you continue to do what you gotta do. If you gotta go cry in the back when you're done, do by all means. But in when you're in the audience, in front of the audience and in front of people, just you know, make sure that you pop back up and don't worry. Cause it things happen, you know, it happens all the time. I fell. Well, I almost fell. I tripped and it wasn't fun. But at the end of the day, I owned it and I kept it pushing and then I went back out and I made sure every last every single time that I went back out, I made sure I slayed, okay? <laughs> I was not Y'all wasn't going to remember that first time. No, no, no. You're going to remember the last time or the middle time when I was slaying, okay? So, just make sure that, you know, you don't get too riled up about it. Because, again, it happens. And just don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry. Be happy. Just keep it pushing. Keep it moving. As you know, as I always say, practice makes perfect. So, I know it's the day of the show, but if you got a little time to work out and um, walk in the hallway with some models, you know, as you're waiting to get your makeup done, you know, do some poses in the mirror. Make sure you are, just see how you want to, like, work it. You know what I'm saying? But practice. You can practice when you got some downtime. That day is going to be really hectic, it is. But there are times where you have a little downtime. Like I said, practice makes perfect. So the day before the show, make sure you're walking before you get into bed. Something. Just make sure you're practicing um, throughout the whole time before the show. And then when the show gets there, if you want to do a little quick practice, do that as well. Because practice makes perfect, guys. And it also builds your confidence even more. As always, in everything that you do, practice makes perfect. So make sure that you're practicing if you got the time. If you don't, you're fine because you practice enough before the show. So you good, okay? <laughs> now, as I always say in all my videos, I feel like, um, 
have fun this is my last tip and i just need you to have fun this is so much fun especially if you really really want to do this if this is your passion it's fun it's so fun and have fun like have fun enjoy it every moment of it if you fell if you didn't the good moments the bad moments enjoy it because they're all learning lessons like i said take it and have fun have fun have fun this is so much fun i love doing this this is definitely my passion and every time I get out on the stage, every time I get in front of the camera, I'm just, I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I'm so, so happy and then when I'm done, I'm like, hmm, that was so fun, I want to do more. <laughs> so, like I said, have fun guys and make sure you work that runway. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about nothing. Just You know you're confident. Everything is good. You did what I told you to do. These are some tips for you. I really hope they are helpful for you guys. Um... So if you're in a fashion show, you got an upcoming fashion show, I hope these tips really, really, really worked and helped out. Um, and good luck, you know, good luck on you guys' journey. I'm so happy that you're following mine and supporting mine. Thank you so much. Hello to my new subscribers. Make sure you subscribe. And my new subscribers, make sure you tell your friends to subscribe, okay? Like and comment. Give me some feedback. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye.